How's it going everybody? I'm Brian from i1 Tesla and I'm not wearing a normal shirt today but it's because I'm going to be getting dirty uh, with this car here. <laughs> I wasn't going to film this because I was going to do something else with um, my Model 3. I've already done half the work, so I might as well start filming it and show you how to do this. And it's actually turned out quite well. We're going to start doing some changes, design changes and some, some new things to her car. So one thing I, I'm going to be doing myself here is painting the calipers red. Uh, you might have seen the old, older video where I, I bought some vinyl, some orange vinyl, and I was going to wrap my calipers and my Model 3. Well, that was a stupid idea, and I got the wrong vinyl, apparently. And it's not a great idea. So a fellow subscriber who, who, who emails me quite often, he actually used to own a Harley dealership. And he told me to get some actual caliper paint, and you brush it on. It works really good. So I got Pour, Pour 15 caliper paint, and it comes in a bunch of different colors. I got the red, performance red. Uh, might as well go with the performance. I took off her wheels, sanded and cleaned the brake calipers really well, and then painted the calipers last night. Uh, it looks really good because we just got the arachnid wheels on her car. And let me show you what they look like from the driver's side first. These are the arachnid wheels that we won from the referral program. Thank you for using my referral code. I have a 75D and the calipers are a dark charcoal color. It says Tesla right on there. They're actually a Brembo brake. So it's a really nice brake kit that they have on there. And the same thing with the Model 3. They're actually Brembo brakes as well. The rear actually has a plate to make it look a little bit better over the cheaper looking caliper. But it says Tesla right on there. Now the painted side, nice red color. I don't have a sticker on there yet. I'm actually going to get an i1 Tesla sticker for the calipers because I think that'll look cool, a little branding. And again, this one on this side, you can see that plate looks really nice. And with the i1 Tesla sticker there, uh, it'll look really nice. Kind of looks orangish on the on the screen. I don't know if it'll look like that when you see it on YouTube, but uh, it's red in person. I actually put two coats. I used a small brush, uh, about a half inch brush, and I did a nice even coat on the first coat. You're not going to get full coverage on the first coat. Uh, you'll see brush marks, and then they just the paint kind of stays like gluish like, um, and then it's like a, it's like an oil based paint. So it'll it'll move a little bit and then flatten out and then dry. You put that on, and then three three hours later, you put the second coat on. After that second coat, you need to let it sit for, for 24 hours. So it is Monday. Karen has actually taken my car to work, so I have today to finish this up, and then tomorrow, tomorrow morning she could take it to work. I think it'll be fine. I'm going to have the heat on in the garage here, so it'll be a little warmer for it. It'll, it'll dry a little bit better. I'm going to do the same type of thing for the Model 3, but I have something else planned for those wheels and brakes so you'll see that in another video also can you tell we got the windows tinted it's fully legal fully legal tint on the the back glass all the side glass and we got clear on the front all ceramic tint amazing stuff it's expel tint it's really good stuff really nice material it's going to block almost all the heat and it really makes it quieter on the inside of the car, which is actually amazing. It's really nice. The company I used was Sunstoppers here in Charlotte. They have nine locations. If you click on our YouTube page, there, there's actually they're actually giving a discount coupon code of 20% if you use our referral. So go to our Facebook if you're in Charlotte. The ceramic tint is amazing. It actually, you know, a Tesla Model S and 3 are very quiet on the inside, but this is actually making the car even quieter. It stops, especially the windshield, if you get the windshield done, it actually stops a lot of that wind noise that you have from the wind hitting the windshield. It makes it super quiet. So go out, go out, go out. After the video, don't do it now, but after the video, call them and uh, schedule your uh, your window tint. So I'm gonna jack this up. I'm gonna put the camera down so you can see what I do because you have to jack this up on the certain points. There's a point down here and a point right here. And if you only have one jack and one jack stand, how do you do that? So I've got my puck right here. We're gonna place it right underneath the, the pad that's on underneath the car here. On the Model S, there's actually three holes there. You wanna be in the center one. There's companies that make these jack pads for this that are actually three pins with, uh, it's huge, you don't need it. Just do what I did with the pads. Lifting this up, and before you lift this all the way off, you wanna take these caps off of your lug nuts 
and then break those loose. So we're getting this up here. This tire's off the ground. We could actually take this off, but we need to get that tire off. If I put the jack underneath there, I can't get the jack stand underneath anything. I don't want to put it on the suspension because it could be loose and slide off. That would be disastrous. What I've done is taken the arm off of this jack stand, taken the hockey puck, you see they're soft, and put it upside down so it's flat on there. So it's not gonna move. So once I jacked this side up far enough, since the car is so stiff, the whole thing will actually lift off of one point. It'll flex a little bit, but not by much. Then we're going to get just enough so I can shove this underneath, bring this side down a little bit so everything's off the ground, and that's all you gotta do. Once I lock this into place, this isn't gonna move. I got that centered on that one, and now I'm gonna to start to lower the front end a little bit because we don't need it that high and kind of even the car out. And that's what I did to get both sides up off the ground so I can actually paint both sides one at a time. Let me show you the back caliper here. This is what I was talking about with it looking a little cheaper this is a smaller brake caliper. They don't need to have a really big expensive brake back here because most of your stopping is done on the front anyway. Looks like a decorative plate over top of a cheaper looking caliper, but that's fine. We're going to clean this up as well. Paint this up red and replace the sticker. Just finished the second coat about maybe an hour, hour and a half ago. You can see how it flattens out really nice. It's dry enough where it needs to sit for 24 hours now. So I'm gonna put the wheels back on, put it back on the ground so it can sit overnight. And then tomorrow, my wife will still have to drive the Model 3 tomorrow to, to work. And we'll let this stay in the garage with the heat on because it's a little chilly today. It's actually raining today. Like I said before, I do have to get the vinyl cut still. I want this to be nice and solid and hardened all the way before I actually do that. So I got some time. I probably will wait till I get the, wait till I paint the calipers on my car. I wonder if we'll get a performance increase because you know the performance cars have red calipers. So I wonder by painting them red, if you get more horsepower out of it. Kind of like when you put stickers on a car, like K&N filter, you get more power just by the sticker. <laughs> but just again, what it's gonna look like, nice and red, I know it's in the dark. And also to give back to everyone, like, like I've been doing the last few videos, Josh Bright, we're using Josh's referral code today. Josh has actually helped out quite a bit. He's actually been in one of the videos. He's actually the one I met him out at the Hickory Supercharger and I went over the vehicle with him and then he, he ended up placing his order for one. He bought some t-shirts and sweatshirts. If, if, you, if you want some sweatshirts or t-shirts, hit the link below. I got some i1 Tesla t-shirts. Not, not this one. This is not sponsored by them at all. Down below, you can place your order, help out the channel. Josh is a great guy. He helps out with the Facebook page with us. He's always posting good things on Facebook and, you know, really, really helping, helping us out. And he's a Patreon guy too. I'll definitely, well, I mean, obviously his code's right here anyway. I'll have the link down below. Uh, I just don't know off the top of my head, but, uh, but use Josh's code and I'll have links for all the supplies I use too. Stay positive, stay awesome. Leave your comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot.